and that's how I learned to use left-handed scissors with my right hand. It's that kind of versatility that made me the principal I am today. <laughs> Moving on to cafeteria news, the meat of the day is low. Ugh, if boring was money, Pester could buy his own island. And if pain was money, I wouldn't mind listening to him. Let it end, dear bug, let it end. And as a lunchtime announcement treat, I have composed a winter haiku. Flakes of moisture fall. I build a snowfly so large his name will be Ted. Thank you. I've also composed a winter sonnet. Oh, we have got to get that mic out of his hands. Hey, what if we did that? I've got it. We should be doing the announcements. But that's what I was going to... It'd be like having our own radio show. Big up to the mathletes for zapping fly high yesterday. Still undefeated, yo. Spin us to first period, DJ Ray Ray. Kids want to listen to other kids, right? Yeah, nobody ever listens to kids. We can start protests, we can make signs, I could paint signs. I'm a good painter, I like blue. Quiet, Peepert, I'm skinny. And then I say, spin us the first period, DJ Ray Ray, and then Raina would be all like, what, 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 Mmm, captivating. I'll be straight with you, Maggie. Announcements are like a release valve for me. Being principal is a high-stress job. But... However, if radio's your bag, I've got just the thing in the unclaimed lost and found box. Yours to keep as you like. <laughs> I used one of these when I was your age, when being principal one day was just some crazy kid's dream. A vintage DJ Dan microphone. <laughs> this baby beams to any radio frequency you choose up to 500 yards. Hello, FM 8649. I know principals have always done the announcements in the past, but... Sorry, Maggie. It's been fun saying no of you, but I've got my stressful job to attend to. Like apprehending the school outlaws, the secret spitballer, the shoelace mother, the desktop doodler. Good day. Mr. B, what's the bigger stress break? Doing your boring announcements or having a totally clean most wanted list? I'm listening. I'll find your secret spitballer, your gum water, all of them. In exchange, you give me the announcements. Hmm. What makes you think you can expose those sneaky hooligans? I'm very stealthy, Mr. P. <laughs> sure you are. Where's that DJ Dan mic? It's right here in my hand. Oh! <laughs> you have got yourself a deal, Missy. Ew. This was way too near his mouth. Hey, Maggie. I had some great ideas for your show when you get your show. And I paint a sign and... Later, people. I've got work to do. Nobody ever listens to me. Ooh. I can't believe you sold out to the man. I'm only selling out the bad kids. They deserve to be ratted out. But aren't you worried about snooping into the dark side of Buzzdale? Nah. Pester poked me up with loads of his personal crime fighting gear. Disguise kit, digital camera, and look, if I really get into trouble, an emergency homing beacon. Trouble, Nagy? False alarm, Principal B. Hmm. Ooh, that's cool. And what's that over there? Spitball trap. Made that myself. Ooh, shh. <laughs> secret spitballer, your secret is out. I mean, she's my own sister and she won't even listen to me. How is that fair? Look at this little fleeb, pacing around, talking to himself. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my imaginary radio audience. It's like you want me to beat you up. No, not really. Ah, much safer. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah, nobody listens to kids. Like how I tell the nurse I hate banana lollipops, but that's what she gives me anyway. Banana? They taste like foot. <laughs> Once too. I was once going to be a hair model. Hey everyone, you gotta hear this! What is tiger sauce anyway? And why do they have to slap it all over my fish sticks? Why can't I choose my own kind of meat? Here's the guy who tells it like it is! Spread the word! FM 86.9! I guess it's a grown-up's world, and nobody listens to the rest of us! He's like the the mouth of my soul! <laughs> Gumwater, the charges are gonna stick. Oh my bug, that's it. That's what? 
Well, Pubert, looks like I'm gonna get my announcement show. I have a show now, too. Of course, mine's just pretend, but I... Yeah, yeah, that's sweet, Pupie. We'll play later. Maggie, but I'm talking about things that are important to me. Okay, I'm back. And you know, there's one person who really chaps my hide. Now, I don't want to name names, but somebody really needs to be taught a lesson in manners. He must be Nurse Hutchison. Curse her banana lollipops! He must mean the lunch lady. Curse our mandatory tartar sauce! He must mean the librarian. I don't like the way he shushes. Yeah! No more foot taste! No more foot taste! No more tartar! No more tartar! Nicer shushing! Nicer shushing! Oh, hey, Mr. P. I've come to collect. Not now, Pesky. <laughs> Nice oh, for bug's sake, shushing. this is a library, nice people! <laughs> hey, Bester, fork over the announcement. Got all your perps right here. Yes, but there's been a new addition to the list. Dr. Truth! You can't add to the list. Do you feel me, people? Do you feel me? Yeah! Radio show? But that's my thing! Not until you bring me the secret of Dr. Truth, it isn't. Oh, fine, I'll do it. But this wasn't our deal. I want an absolute promise. Principal's honor. The announcements are a small price to pay for Dr. Truth's identity. Really? Because I've been thinking of asking for a jukebox in the girls' room and... <clears throat> going. How come first-year students can't go to dances? First-years aren't gonna take it anymore! Yeah! Guys, I need a way to track down Dr. Truth. Pronto! We've got just the thing. Come on, first-years! Let's stage a dancing! <gasps> you? You're Dr. Truth? Uh, how'd you know my secret DJ name? Secret? The whole school's listening to you. You've got your own angry mob. But uh, I didn't want a mob. Not even a happy one. I didn't even know I was on the air. I just wanted to talk to someone, but no one ever listens to me. You never listen. Reasons don't really matter at this point, Pupie. I gotta turn you in to get my announcement show. To turn me in? But don't worry. Me and Pester are tight now. I'm sure I can cut a deal for you. A month of detention tops. You know what they do to soft, timid bugs in detention? Kabow! And I'm not good with... Kabow! Oh, come on, Pupie. A month in detention is nothing to Dr. Truth. Would you stop for once and listen to me? I'm scared. Oh, Pupie, you're right. I I've just been thinking of myself. I'm sorry, buddy. I I'm listening now, and I do care. Don't worry about detention. We'll figure some way out of this. Oh, Maggie, you're the best. There's <laughs> emergency homing beacon! We accidentally triggered it! Maggie, do you need help? Is that no-good radio rabble-rouser in there? Oh, no! This is all my fault! It's over! I'm squashed! Goodbye! <laughs> So, let me get this straight. You're Dr. Truth? yep -er. And you found her? Roger that, big fella. I don't believe you. Would Dr. Truth lie? Well then, looks like you won't get the announcements after all. <laughs> Actually, you promised the announcements are a small reward for Dr. Truth's identity, remember? <sighs> and he found me, so... Looks like everybody's going to be listening to my baby brother now, huh? Man, it was cold today! How cold was it? It was so cold, I had to wear boots. <laughs> <laughs> boots. I love that kid. But seriously, folks, it's me and Love Thursday again, and I... Bless you, secret spitballer. 